One thing Ghost faced wise that stayed consistent over the months is my favorite perk on him and pretty much my favorite perk in the entire game and that's Lethal Pursuer. Now Lethal Pursuer for the longest time what it only did was it showed you uh, the aura of everyone at the start of the match which obviously for Ghostface is amazing. It's not the craziest perk ever but just being able to see where everyone exactly is unless they have distortion obviously which you know some people run but not that many honestly but seeing where everyone is and then you know in best case scenario 99ing everyone just because you know where everyone is is powerful now they did a small change to it in the latest mid chapter update which basically if you have another hour reading including lethal pursuer the duration of the hour read is extended by two seconds which means for example barbecue lasts four seconds with lethal pursuer if you run that on top of that it's six seconds it's what i commonly use in my main build right here and yeah today in today's gameplay video we're gonna test it out a little bit more with this build now the obvious choice would probably be just you know do an outdoor security camera build but I kind of want to try something different with this. We obviously are running Lisa Pursuer, obviously, alongside with Corrupt as gens get done really really quick and I just want some help for a start. But then we're gonna run two Scourge Hook perks. I mean I will, will run Pain Resonance just to have as a complement to Floods of Rage which I don't really run a whole lot. So this is a good opportunity to run it here as well. Basically. We have four scourge hooks. If someone gets unhooked from one, they are all, uh, the aura of all other survivors is revealed for seven seconds. With lethal pursuer, it's nine seconds. And we're gonna run the Olsen's address book, which when a survivor gets marked, their aura is revealed for five seconds. With lethal pursuer, seven seconds for every rushed action they do. So basically, I'm all ears, but permanent on marked survivors. We're gonna also complement that with the cheap cologne which increased the mark duration by 10 seconds which isn't really that crazily good because if we chase someone for 70 seconds and stuff it's bad anyways but I'm still gonna run it to complement that and yeah that's what we're gonna run today just see a bit how the lethal influences this type of build and yeah let's get into the match shall we? Okay, we got Ormond. Feel like I haven't been in here forever. I mean, the problem is. What? Well, my uh, crop is actually good. I thought it was gonna be a horrible one because of, you know, the subwing hooks. The fuck? Um, someone has the gloves, actually. Where you don't get any notifications for subwing. You saw the person was subwing and finishing, but I didn't get a notification whatsoever. That was the gloves I on. Yeah. Someone's doing an archive and, you know, doesn't want to endanger themselves, which is, you know, fair enough. Is that the last thing? Nice shake. Fair enough. And the boon is over there, okay. That's also one thing I do with these sub challenges, by the way. Kind of weird how close that was. Like, for real, I was looking at a wall. But yeah. Double blind. Yeah, it's gonna be spicy, I think. Well, we know where another person is, so yeah, they are all going towards Shack. I will just leave her, I guess. That was a bad mark. Really couldn't follow that up properly. I'm 
so yeah. I need to uh, play this smooth as as possible. Yeah. We've had too many matches on stream yeah. and so like that where they were just you know making a toy of us just because we play playing nice. I need to spice up our game a little bit, unfortunately. That's just the reality of the game, I guess. Um. Now the arena is finally not exposed anymore. The 10 seconds kind of add a little bit to it, don't they? Okay, I will take my chances and skirt shook this instead of, you know, right next to it. Just to get perk value out of that. Mm. Yeah, because we didn't have a single prompt yet, and we ha haven't gotten address value yet. Healed on its own with his med kit, which is fair enough. Mm, there's other thing. Other thing is going for the rescue. And the arena is on this gen. Actually. Beautiful. That was beautiful, honestly. That was beautiful with lots of rage value. I mean, the two seconds were kind of too extra. Didn't really hold, add a whole lot, but it still felt good. Okay, she committed actually. Now, if we, she wards this, we're gonna get wall hacks on her. She just wards W, I reckon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe this will help us out play on this tile, though. Right? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, give me that. Especially on a tile like this, this add-on is really good. Because... Survivors themselves sometimes don't know how to run these, so, you know... Un unfortunately, another non skirt shooks, we kinda out of luck on the... This one's right there. Unfortunately. But it be like that sometimes. She had deliverance? I think it was deliverance. I might also hook him on this hook instead of a scotch one because he's actually dead. Oh, I go for you instead. I don't mind either. And I hook her on the skirt shook right there. Okay. Problem is... Yeah, I won't be able to hook him unfortunately. We need to wait until someone picks him up. We're gonna snuff this so the efforts are a bit slowed down. Okay, someone up there. Actually, actually, let's take the agenda and actually go up ourselves. And maybe if they go for pickup or something, we're gonna get a bunch of stalking. There's the slug. She's just working on a gen right there. Or we can just gonna do this, I reckon. Okay, Jake's been picked up. I'm gonna then pain rest this gen potentially, if this is like the furthest, presumably. Yeah. By 15%. There's Jake, so we're gonna take care of him now. Yeah, unfortunately, make that. Mm. Not too bad. Seems to be a rather decent med kit. Probably not the strongest money can buy, but. Oh. 
still decent, I reckon. It was the dead heart. Serena's probably here though. Wait, no, Serena's been healed. What the hell am I on about? Okay. This gen was finished, like right here, so they either went there or there, I reckon. We're gonna mark her so we can potentially get address book value. Well, Cots, that was the most amazing address value, book value you will ever get. <laughs> Literally right into the open. Beautiful. Okay, pain res impact. Boom. And another person dead, so we can, you know, check the two people out and, and call it a day. She has sprint burst. I can't believe the tree actually protected me there. It was kind of bad. It shouldn't really have worked the, the way it did. I mean, she probably just did that in properly. Okay, we know for a fact that there's the god palette. Not on this side, but on this side. I was gonna say she's probably gonna go for it, but... She actually really wasn't. I'm just gonna normal hit. Wanna bait a flashy save? For her to jump down? Nah. I'm a hooker then. Where did she go? I don't hear. Oh, there. There, 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 there. Okay, she killed herself. For Hatch, which is fair. Okay. Um. That was kind of weird, <laughs> not gonna lie, but it worked out, I guess. Well, GG's. Oh, whoops. Hatch right there, whoops. Whoops. Well, I don't think the address book did that much, but I think floods did help a lot. Combined with, you know, lethal and stuff. I mean, Ozan's address book gave us the down at this structure over here, so I think it was pretty nice in that regard. Oh yeah. Definitely an interesting build. I will probably also, I'm probably not gonna do this video, but I will experiment with different variations with Lethal. I wish I could reveal Ghostface when I look at him. If you did it properly, then yeah. It's too much on DVD devs. Uh oh. Some people are. Nope. Some people don't know again how it works. Let's tell them to your soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people don't know how the reveal mechanic works again. Oh, that's funny. I've seen that before. 
clicked it here so many times. <laughs> well, GG's. Okay, we got farm, rancid, abattoir, whatever. Let's see how well this works here. Um, everyone's going to get a mouth. <laughs> it's what you like to see the most, to be honest. So, yeah. Kinda awkward, but... Oh, him! Yeah, okay. Was about to say, are you really revealing me from on top again? But now nah, it was just... Like, like from behind the wall, but now nah, with him being elevated, that makes perfect sense. Actually... Boon, presumably right here somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This window is really strong, unfortunately. Need to break this. Sprint bursting mech. Let's see if we can outplay right here. Copium, by the way. <laughs> kind of funny if you think about it. Because uh, because her name literally reflects my DVD experience a lot of the times. Surely these survivors will be playing nice for once, right? Kupium. <laughs> She's gonna make her. Uh, make. But she already used her sprint burst and shit, so. Yeah, we know the boon is behind the main, so yeah, this was pro also probably that jump, by the way. So yeah, exactly. Wait, did that still that still counted? Huh? Interesting. That actually still counted, because I marked her, I guess, while the animation was still happening or something? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Should been spotted and being called out, presumably, as well. <laughs> this is probably just gender's farthest, right? Otherwise, I would be. Terrifying, find yeah. Now the question is how we get a bunch of stocks here. Because we kinda need some more. If we wanna keep competitive with the flow of the match. We have someone dead on hook which is nice, but we kinda need more. She healed just now. That actually. Oh, I was blind. One of the two. Yeah, I was probably blind. I don't even know, by the way. I thought for a second that she had a flashlight. Of course, she didn't. She 
shit, I should have committed to the... Ah! Unfortunately, we marked her by accident, but ah! Ah! fortunately for us, the Jake is kind of boosted. Yeah. <laughs> At least it looks like it. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 Claudette here, Claudette here, walking there, I was, yeah, yeah, the right there, right there, right there, I was like, yeah, can we get an aura read on her so we can, you know, actually utilize the marks still, and we got, wait, no, that's Meng, fuck, Claudette went for the unhook actually, which means, she's right here. And might go for this unhook as well, so she has to be really careful now. Uh. Yeah, we're just gonna leave her. I guess. Yeah, we need to leave. Did all our gens are on the opposite side of the map. What am I doing? <laughs> you're literally, literally giving them a free win if you keep up like this. Well, there is Claudette. I wanted earlier, but didn't get what I wanted. Oh yeah, this is still up, I remember. She's gonna make that, that's the saddest part about it. Power, show me. Yeah. Cool. Why is my lunch so short again? Someone tell me that. Well, this is so sad. For you guys. For, you know. Um, for the 10 seconds of the goddamn cheap for long. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna make it, unfortunately. That's okay. Someone else might not, though. Nah, they're all fine. They're all fine. Well, GG's. That was... That was rough, but we kinda didn't defend the gents. I still hope that this match kinda showcased the potential of what this build can do, even though we kinda got a slapped match. But I mean, that just proves again that we are not playing against babies, so yeah. I mean, we are playing against babies if they just see back at the exit gate, you know. But, you know what I mean. But we deep hook for that, so... I guess, you know, six hooks not good enough against strong team. Yeah, 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 I know how it is. Funny, by the way, how now everyone says GG because I lost. Compared to the last match where, you know, 
we won and they were crying about how broken the reveal mechanic is. But I mean, that's survival in a nutshell, sadly. But yeah, GG's. Okay, we got fractured cow shed because we've been sent there again. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how this one goes. They are fairly split up, unfortunately. It's like really bad. I can still make it work, I reckon. Unless the stocking egg box works on that. Not. And we won't be able to. But you know. That's the state of being, sadly. I don't know what his plan was. Ah! Like seriously, I don't get it, but I guess I appreciate the free down on this stupid map. <laughs> okay, let's see. Skullshook right here. Uh, is that Jeff or is that Dave? This is the farthest gen, okay, so they haven't really done a whole lot yet. No, that's actually... It's actually David. Who? Oh, they're both here! Well, easy snack done. We're gonna stall until our power is back at the very least. One. I didn't see the other person, unfortunately. I think that was Megan, actually. I wish I could have gotten more stock on Steve, but. Unfortunately, we didn't. Okay, this gen is in the corner again, so. Wait, wait that was Steve who. Yeah, we found the Megan. We did indeed found the Megan. Let's see how broken this map variation is. Okay. Mm, was that no deliverance or is that, you know... I mean, it has to be deliverance. No one, no one, actually no one has been healed yet, right? Like, actually no one. The only person that could have been... Did not, you know, and, and it would now be over by now, but the broken stall is lasting, so... Take those three pallets, thank you. I'll break this wall there just to be prepared, and then we're gonna intercept whoever's coming for the rescue now. This is still regressing, yes. Perfect. Okay, Jeff is no longer broken. Okay, they did that one. That makes sense. They were really lazy with that unhook and just wanted to push the gen instead, so Megan got second stage. Uh, what the hell is the... Oh, 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 David's actually over there. That's interesting.
Megan has a boon. Shit. I'm gonna take the time to snuff it then. I hoped he would be more zoned out, not gonna lie. But that's okay. Gen regressing. A good pace. Like guys, are you... Are you phobic of your teammates? What the fuck is happening? Okay, we have him marked for hot seconds, so we might be able to get some good wall hacks on him. Ah! Careful that, for example, with this add-on, if they dead hot now and they basically, or you know, anything that does endurance, remember that the marked effect disappears. So, for example, if he dead hearted there. Obviously the chase wouldn't be over, but you also lost this marked effect, so you wouldn't get um, address book value, for example. Bro, what are they doing? They're literally just sweating gens. Gens before friends, like, quite literally. Hey, bro. Okay, they're healing on the hook. That's good to know. I I think I saw Megan going around the building. I think. I'm not sure. Saw something else move. Wait, wait, we're gonna let him unhook and then, you know, we're just gonna find Megan that way. She did a red, red glyph, I like that word. I don't know, do you as a killer let people do their glyphs? I think it's more than appropriate of a gentleman's agreement, unless it's a white glyph, because, you know, okay, I can stalk in this ghost face, but other than that, with a white glyph, it's still, you have to let them go to the basement then, blah, 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 with any other glyph. I think it's more than appropriate to just let them do it. Sometimes they're stupid as this, so you know. Shit, I, I thought he was dead on hook otherwise, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Once he gets unhooked, I know where Steve is, so... <laughs> yeah, in that situation, barbecue would have been 100% better. And I still feel barbecue kinda is more consistent than Floods of Rage. But I also think it's... Floods is a good alternative. I think it's pretty decent, especially since it does not have any range restrictions. It works some, as some sort of... I can't lean, so we're gonna just gonna do this, I guess. No, let's try to find Steve. Because it kind of works as some sort of retribution effect. Instead of, you know, something range limited. I think it's good. I'm pretty convinced it's good. It's just probably definitely weaker than some 
of the other info perks that are top tier on Ghostface, like barbecue and discordance. Still doesn't make it bad at all. It's just also... The problem is just also, it's also tied to a... a fucking cunt. I even... I even knew that that was gonna happen. <laughs> and I still did it. I mean, to be fair, while I play Survivor nowadays, I actually run Blast minus super fun. <laughs> to just new killer's faces off. So I get him, but... Jesus Christ, what a little shit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... What would you want to say regarding the thing? I mean, the problem also with Lots of Rage is obviously that Skirt Shook tied, and Skirt Shook from Ghosty is a bit of a really, really wild card, but yeah. Definitely not too bad. GG's. Yeah, Blast Point. <laughs> Funny. Wait, Steve had camera. I mean, okay, it's Steve here, but... Wait, Jeff also had camaraderie. Maybe they tried to go for a play with that, but someone needs to go at least towards the hook for it to work, you know? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, GG's. Okay, we got Ironworks of Misery. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'm still hoping to get more value out of the address book. Well, we got two people with distortion, it seems like. Oh, well, that's fucking funny. Which means they have lost two stacks already. And we can make them lose more stacks if we mark them and, you know, just let them fast forward a bunch of shit. Then they all of a sudden will lose all the stacks. Yep. Stack one. I mean, now he has none again. I mean... So we already, you know, sat on that. Yeah, now he's always already revealed again because... Because the thing with lethal also now is... I think I mentioned that... Somewhat lighthearted is that lethal also is increased by the two seconds which means it says nine seconds in the description but it's actually 11 which means you use up two stacks right off the bat with this you know instead of you know i was looking down in case yunjin was there Like I give a shit pal. Okay, Yunjin does not have distortion. So we should be able to immediately see her or she just runs into us. One of the two. <laughs> now we actually got a scotch hook, which is nice. I almost wanted to cloak there, but then I would have easily been revealed by the... Yunjin on the hook. Upstairs. Actually might recharge tokens here, but you know, being in my terror radius, I need to be careful about that. But then again, with the Olsen's address book, if we do some walls mid chase, we should be good, right? What does Windy Body? And he lost his stack again. Just like that. Okay, that's Serena, yeah. That gen. I mean, we already knew that, but it's. I guess it's good to have confirmation.
Unlucky. Happens. We're gonna just... Nah, she, she actually plays secret as well. She doesn't just pre drop everything. That was a decent-ish life. Still think you're kind of out of luck here. My tag at least. Okay, another skirt shook. Coming up. Look. Why did you sound like a Leon? Good question. Jin still has off the record, by the way. Now she doesn't anymore. You notice how all of a sudden she made injured sounds again? You notice how all of a sudden I also get stuck on fucking everything? <laughs> Flots might not do a whole lot this match, but that's okay. It's kind of the... You see where this build maybe clumps a bit down. If you have multiple people running distortion. Which, granted, I've never seen before. So, you know, that's the first time actually. Since the update that we have a team that actually runs a bunch of them. You would expect more of them. And she kills herself for no good reason. That's just sad, isn't it? Okay. Two scream somewhere. Maybe this one, maybe that one. This one. That's arena smarter than she looks actually. With knowing her pathing against Miss Stalking. She knows it's not gonna hit her. I mean, no, she used life. Obviously, but. It's another filler palette. She just gave me for free. Thank you. Now, can we actually go to a somewhat interesting structure? That's a fucking palette gem. Like this one. I really wanted to go for her to go towards the um, weird thing. I don't even know how to call it. Window gym? Or whatever. That was right next to the pallet gym. Because I think on these, the Orson's address book is really, really good. That's one of these tiles because it's still kind of new and unpredictable in a way. And if you just know what the survivor does, literally, sponsored also by Lethal Pursuer. And that's really good. Unfortunately, we didn't get a stalk here. I would have loved to, but it do be like that sometimes. I'm gonna put him on the other skirt hook and see if he can find Jonah right off the bat. That could have been a lot more interesting if Yunjin just decided to actually play the game and not give up like that. But I mean, that's also state of the game, unfortunately, since the uh, update. I'm gonna mark him as well, see what happens.
Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted. Now we will see how we play this. Yeah, okay, he just moved forward, so... But you get the idea, right? In a structure like this, I... let's look at it once we actually get a fucking hook. Like, this came out with the mid-chapter as well, right? Some of these new tiles. And this one has a window like here. And this one has a window here. And I think with the address book, just knowing the double backing, everything really, really helpful. And it has potential also with TL Wars. I mean, everything, uh, a map with every single uh, generic structure. Like, for example, Macmillan maps. I think for those. Um. Thingy is really good, Olsen's address book. A map where, for example, Yamaoka, where aren't that many and you just have a bunch of these rock pallets, for example. Not so good for this add on. But yeah. So, what is so all good? She also saw me. She knows that there's a fucking tree. <laughs> Come, let's find the edge. <laughs> okay. Mm. She kinda cute. We gonna admit. There we go. Have at it. Oh, why? That was, that was a stunt. You know, drop down to slurp? That was dope. <laughs> if you caught that properly. Well, GG's. That was another interesting match with... Actually, one distortion. Wait, no, two distortions. What's actually the difference now? Oh, it's just for six seconds. So, with Tap, who also had distortion... Yeah, it didn't make any difference. He still lost two at the start. Because normally it's last 10 seconds, right? Lethal last 11, so you immediately waste 2. And with level 1, it's in total instead of 10, it's 6, so 12. So it's still 11, like you still lose 2, the exact same amount. But yeah, GG's. And that's for the video, I'm gonna leave it right here. I will definitely, probably, most certainly do other gameplay videos exploring more combination for Fleece Pursuer. Some stuff kind of that comes into mind, obviously outdoor security camera. I didn't want to do that one in this video because it's the obvious choice and I wanted to try something different. But then again, other hour stuff. Maybe we will even try, I don't know, something with retribution maybe? Like some hex thing, maybe even plaything retribution, I don't know. Could be a bunch of interesting video ideas. Because I really like Lethal. I really like it and the fact that they buffed it and gave it that dope effect makes it even more of a dope perk. I, I absolutely love Lethal. Oh, you know, with Darkness Revealed, maybe. We will see. I have some video ideas coming up regarding that and some other stuff also on the pipeline so you can you can uh, look forward to that what do you think about the whole thing let me know in the comments i would love to hear about it if you enjoyed this gameplay video make sure to give it a thumbs up and yeah other than that have a great rest of your day and take care everyone Bye bye